Deep beneath the vast, wrinkled landscape of our cerebral cortex lies a hidden world of intricate structures. Think of these structures as the unsung heroes of our brain. Today, we're shining a spotlight on two of these vital players, the thalamus and hypothalamus. Their names might sound like a tongue twister, but their roles are crucial in keeping our bodies and minds functioning seamlessly. Though neighbors within the brain's diencephalon region, the thalamus and hypothalamus are worlds apart in appearance and function. The thalamus is like a grand central station of the brain, with two distinct lobes, one neatly tucked into each hemisphere. The hypothalamus, on the other hand, is a compact cone-shaped structure perched just below the thalamus, hence its name hypo, meaning under. Think of the hypothalamus as your body's tireless personal assistant. Its primary mission is to maintain something called homeostasis, the delicate balance of our internal environment, ever felt too hot, too cold, hungry, or desperately thirsty. That's your hypothalamus sensing things are out of whack and tirelessly working to bring your body back to equilibrium. How does it do this? The hypothalamus is a master communicator. It receives a constant stream of information about your body via the nervous system, things like your blood pressure, body temperature, and even the content of your gut. Using this data, it can then orchestrate changes throughout your body to bring things back into balance. Let's say you're out on a freezing winter day. Your hypothalamus senses the dip in temperature and sends out signals to constrict blood vessels, making you shiver. All this is designed to conserve heat and boost your core temperature. On the flip side, imagine you're parched after a workout. The hypothalamus detects changes in your blood and triggers that unquenchable thirst sensation, prompting you to rehydrate. And the hypothalamus doesn't stop there. It's also the boss of the pituitary gland, the master gland of your endocrine system. By nudging the pituitary, the hypothalamus controls the release of a whole orchestra of hormones. These chemical messengers travel throughout the body, influencing a wide range of functions. Growth hormone, for example, helps regulate how your body builds and repairs tissues. Thyroid hormone plays a crucial role in metabolism, keeping your energy levels up and your body functioning efficiently. Adrenaline, on the other hand, is your body's fight-or-flight hormone, released in response to stress or danger. The hypothalamus acts as a conductor, fine-tuning the release of these hormones to maintain a harmonious internal state. Now let's shift our focus to the thalamus. If the hypothalamus is about internal balance, the thalamus is all about connecting you to the outside world. It's the primary relay station for nearly all sensory information flowing into your brain sight, hearing, taste, touch. With the sole exception of smell, these senses first make a pit stop in the thalamus. The thalamus doesn't simply pass along information like a mail carrier. It filters, sorts, and may even add a touch of emotional context to sensory data. Think of it as your brain's discerning secretary, deciding what information is urgent enough to forward to the cerebral cortex for conscious processing. Let's say you stub your toe. That intense pain signal gets a higher priority and a direct line to your awareness. The thalamus is also part of the intricate network that controls our attention and alertness. Imagine you're engrossed in a captivating book while the air conditioner hums softly in the background. The thalamus acts as a filter, diminishing the significance of the constant hum so you can focus entirely on the story unfolding before you. However, that same thalamus will instantly override this filter if a sudden loud noise pierces the silence. Perhaps a car backfires outside your window, or a child shrieks nearby. These unexpected sounds trigger the thalamus's alarm system, sending the noise signal straight to your awareness. In this way, the thalamus helps you stay focused on important tasks while also keeping you alert to potential dangers in your environment. One area where the collaboration between the hypothalamus and thalamus is fascinating is the regulation of sleep and wakefulness. Your body's internal clock, those natural rhythms that make you feel drowsy at night and energized in the morning, is primarily managed by the hypothalamus. But the thalamus also has a role to play. It helps to modulate the flow of information to your brain during sleep, ensuring that you aren't easily disturbed, but can still respond to critical signals. 
Like any complex system, things can sometimes malfunction in the hypothalamus or thalamus. Disruptions to the hypothalamus can lead to a vast array of problems, including hormone imbalances, eating disorders, sleep disturbances, and trouble regulating body temperature. Damage to the thalamus can cause sensory disturbances, pain syndromes, disruptions in movement, or even changes in consciousness. Modern medicine continues to unravel the mysteries of these intricate brain areas and develop new therapies for treating these conditions. While we've explored the hypothalamus and thalamus independently, remember that they function as a dynamic duo, continuously communicating and influencing each other. Think of your brain as a magnificent machine, and these two structures are vital cogs working in harmony to keep the whole system running smoothly. The hypothalamus, focused on internal stability, and the thalamus, connecting you to the external world, allow you to not just survive, but truly thrive in an ever-changing environment. The next time you find yourself marveling at the complexity of your own body or how you seamlessly navigate the world around you, take a moment to appreciate the hidden heroes within, the thalamus and hypothalamus. Your brain's remarkable ability to adapt, regulate, and simply keep you you depends on their tireless work behind the scenes. Let me know in the comments if you learned something new. Did any facts about the thalamus or hypothalamus particularly surprise you? Do you have more questions about these incredible brain structures? Share your thoughts below. And if you enjoyed this video, giving it a thumbs up and subscribing really helps the channel out a lot.